Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Oshomole will be outrightly rejected for projecting Ize Iyamo Shaibo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Thank you very much for supporting us. We really appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Philip Shaibu is the deputy governor to Governor Gordon Obaseki, also seeking a re-election because the governorship and deputy uh, ticket is a dual ticket. It comes as one. Governor Gordon Obaseki's win is a win for Philip Shaibu. Philip Shaibu is a relative to the person of Ushumole. Remember very recently, a few days ago we um showed to you a video where philip shaibu was saying don't call uh Ushumole my boss call him my father yeah that's the way he described and the way he refers to him uh we've also heard that um you know when governor gordon obasek he came initially for his first tenor he wasn't yet known to the people of edo state politically speaking and with the intention of becoming a governor he needed somebody to announce him and that person was adam Ushumole. uh we heard that um, adam Ushumole him with Philip Shaibu, Philip Shaibu being a relative to Adam Sushumole. I know what he said, you know what, spy out this guy, uh, checkmate him, make sure he doesn't go beyond his ban. But guess what? Uh, when Philip Shaibu started working with Gordon Obaseki, he discovered for himself that this man was a prudent man. If you notice, that according to the reports we are hearing, he doesn't want to share the state treasury. This man is an administrator putting structures in place. Take, for instance, the pension, uh, uh, the payment system, everything he has put structure in place. This has also upset a lot of quarters who have been gaining from the states and putting others, you know, at um let when others have been, uh, you know, crying and they, uh, you know, call them talks or what have you, have been enjoying the money of the state. But this guy has put structure in, in place and, you know, wants the good and the betterment of a do state. Instead of Philip Shaibu staying to the course of why Adam Sushumole positioned him to stay with Governor Gordon Obaseki, he rather stayed with Governor Gordon Obaseki because of his ideologies and how he intends to transform a do state truly for real. He began to work with this guy so much so that he's even against Oshomole with Obaseki. Can you imagine that? That's the that's just a little uh, genesis of uh, you know so far. But let's get on to the news. Philip Shaibu is saying to uh, Oshomole, say you know what you'll be rejected outrightly for projecting Ize Iyamo. Let's continue with the news and get all the details. The deputy governor of Edo State, Comrade Philip Shaibu, has accused former governor and sacked APC national chairman. Comrade Adam Sushumole of seeking a third term in office as the governor of Edo State through his surrogate project son, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, whom he has already told the world was a thief in 2016. In a press statement issued by the senior special assistant to media, Mr. Benjamin, on Sunday told um, the world and anyone who cares to listen that Adam Sushumole will be rejected by the people of Edo State. He can spend his money all he wants. He has told the people of Edo State, and they are not dumb, that Ize Iyamu is a thief, not good for office, only good for night duties. He said those words. He said it. He said this guy was a rusticated student, a man without character who poured acid on another student, a cultist. He, he did not graduate from school. School, and he's not fit to lead, especially to become a governor in Edo State to lead the people of Edo State. Philip Shaibu went further to say Adam Sushumole needs to take it easy. Being sacked as the national chairman, he's now jobless and wants to pour his weight and strength all he has towards this election to prove himself prominent again to have some form of fulfillment. But I tell you, if he continues on this path, more shame awaits him just the way he was sacked as the national chairman 
chairman of APC. He thought he was indispensable. He was very surprised and I know beyond shocked when it was President Muhammad Buhari who released the words to say let us dissolve NWC, rendering him jobless and sacked from the office. Adam Sushomole is about to get another round of disappointment and rejection now from his own home front from the people of Edo State for projecting to them the same man he told them was not worthy of the capacity of the office which is projecting now. He told the people that this man was a valueless man and only good for nine duties and meetings. Now he's saying that it was a bad product he sold. Are the people of Edo State daft? Adam Sushomole should take caution and be cautious so as not to be disgraced even further than he was away from APC as the national chairman. Well, guys, you have heard it. That is Philip Shaibu, the deputy governor to Governor Gordon Obaseki. Together, they are working and seeking a re-election re from the people of Edo State because election is a is a uh, democracy is a game of numbers. Uh, you have to. Uh, that's why they are going on campaign tour and converging and seeking for vote from the people because um, at the end of the day, the person declared the winner is the person who has the mind of the people with regards to the vote, the vote will show who the people has finally chosen. Even if it's just imagined by just one, it's always the majority carries the vote. Uh, Philip Shaibu said Adam Sushomole will be thoroughly surprised at the end of the day since he has uh, put himself out to say, you know what, he's going to stand by Ize Iyamu. You listen to the news, he said, the people of Edo State are not daft. You came to them four years ago telling them that this man was not good for office. He was only good for nine meetings. You said you never um, included him in your administration because he has nothing to offer. You told the people he was not a man of character. You told the people he was a fake pastor. That, that's why he carried the Bible after being rusticated from school. Now again, you have come to the people of Edo State saying that you are taking back your words. You are sorry. He said Adam Sushomole will be what? Uh, it will, be, it will be put to shame again come September 19. Well, that's uh, Philip, uh, Philip Shaibu's opinion. But at the end of the day, the results will show, the results will tell. At those stage, you will pick and you will determine who your leader will be in a few days to come, exactly 49 days from today. My people, it's time for you to line up behind who you feel, who you think should be the governor of a those state. You have a voice, you have a choice make your voice count make your votes be heard by the decision you make because whoever you pick or decide will become the leader of a do state in no distance time this person will determine what will happen in a do state with regards to leadership if there will be true transformation if there will be growth if there will be stability if a do state will move forward and if things will be better than what they are today it's up to you whatever decision you make will be determine what will happen to a do state people and what have you that's why we are saying it is time for you to choose and choose wisely choose a man or woman of your choice you feel will take you there anyway my people thank you very much don't forget to like us to share to subscribe to click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news a very big thank you to you god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now